I'm just pissed off now. I'm just My name is Mike Brown, sir. Mike Brown. Mike Brown. Mike Brown. He was unarmed, guys. He didn't have a stick. He didn't have a knife. He didn't have nothing. He had his burnt hands. These guys got knife sticks, mace, all Do it now. Hands up. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Get back! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't we got no funds, no good education. Yeah. All we got is our voice, nigga. And all we got is our fucking voice, man. I just didn't like how they shot him down. He was a mentally challenged man. You know, and we need some justice. He used to sell us CDs and on West Florida. He didn't have a gun. He went in the store, posted, took a soda. Once he got out here, they said he had a pocket knife. A pocket knife, what killed him, made him get shot six times. My name is Betty Davis, 2013. Police came, came trying to break in the house, so my daughter just opened the door and let him in. Hollered at me, made us all go sit down, told us don't move, took our phone, and so they cornered him in the basement. Wherever he was hiding at, I never knew where he was hiding at, he had a knife. A few seconds after he screamed, I heard four shots, a pause, then a fifth shot. I think I had never seen any. It. it was crazy to me. I felt like we didn't have, they took all our rights away from us that day. I don't know, I was hoping somebody would help me so I can move forward. A complete and utter annihilation and denial of any First Amendment right. Freedom of protest, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of peaceable assembly. They stepped on every last one of them. Go, go, you're staying here. Go, go, you're staying here. Go. They have purposely tried to separate the press from the protesters in order to attack the protesters. Media, please return to the designated media area. That's where we can't see anything. As a former law enforcement officer, I am disgusted with what happened here today. This is our life as black Americans in this country, year after year after year. 